hello and welcome to my channel i am akram and you are watching knowledge 360 so in this video i will show you if we have any pg agent jobs in postgres sql scheduled and um, by mistake or knowingly if we stop the service uh, from windows or we stop the pg agent service or postgres service so in that case uh, if our job pg, PG agent jobs will uh, will work or not so we will see that let's uh, for that let's uh, create sample table so let's create a sample table first uh, we can create like this for example say create table test job we can say and I'll give one column as ID it will be numeric okay and one more column that is timestamp value okay uh, it will hold the timestamp of the entry into the table and the data type will be timestamp and the default data will be current timestamp so we don't need to put the entry the entry will be taken automatically for the timestamp so let's create the table okay the table is created we can confirm it from here okay now we have table now let's uh, write a simple stored procedure that will insert data into this table okay so for writing the stored procedure uh, I already have I, I have already written that procedure let me copy it so uh, here is the procedure that I have already written let me just quickly explain you what I have done here so uh, I have I'm creating one stored procedure and I have declared one variable of uh, LV ID numeric and what I'm doing I'm taking the max ID uh, from the test job table that we have already created so uh, whatever value will be there suppose say we have five records so the max id should be five and it will give plus one that means uh, the new id will be six and it will it will store in this variable lv id and that will be inserted okay and this column the timestamp we are not inserting because we have already defined is as default current timestamp so according to the timestamp it will be uh, taken okay so now let's create this stored procedure okay the procedure is created now let's check if uh, there is any data there in this table as of now as we know that uh, there will be no data from test job okay so uh, there is no data now what I'll do I'll call it once uh, we know how to call the stored procedure okay so we can call the procedure and again we'll check we should have data okay the call is uh, executed now let's see so what we'll get we'll get uh, one record with ID value 1 because it is the first record and uh, and the timestamp let's see okay the ID value went null because it gives the null value uh, for example here it has given me the null value so for that let's handle this through coalesce function we can th do that okay now again let's recreate it okay the, the procedure is created now let's call this procedure now we should have data here value 1 okay now we have value 1 and this is the timestamp when uh, the procedure was called okay so from this timestamp value we can know that when this uh, schedule job was called and the procedure was executed okay so this is the procedure I have written now let's go to PG agent and schedule this call procedure in this uh, PG agent jobs okay so for that open it click uh, PG agent job okay now we can say test job we can say and host agent it is localhost we don't need to give it okay test job in comment section and in the steps we need to add the steps okay what are the steps it's going to be so for example say we can give the name as step one because uh, okay the database is selected here if it is not selected you can have uh, many databases because here as of now we I have only one database so it is giving me only one database option okay 
and also if you are connecting to remote then you can select remote from here and you can give the connection string okay so it's local database now on error what it will give it it should give us fail and i can say that step one test job talk okay so now let's go to code and here i need to paste that that means actual execution will be of this okay the it, it should call this procedure okay and now okay it's saying me to select a database i have i had selected that let's see what happened okay uh, i need to select it okay the database is selected we have in the steps we have added this one and when i need to schedule that means when it should be called i can give it a settler one and start date i can give like this and whatever time it is okay uh, that means i have given the 8 uh, a pm and end date uh, it's optional i can mention or i can leave that okay for example i have mentioned here okay it will end uh, means it will start from this date time till this date time okay and also now within that what we need to do okay here it is it is showing that it is enabled that means uh, the job will be executed if if we don't want to execute this job anymore but we want that this job should be existed in our system so i just need to uh, disable this instead of dropping it okay so this is enabled uh, no need to write comments you can mention that for your uh, convenience okay I am selecting all everything here but you can as you know I, as you can see here you can select any date like uh, of which day and which uh, date uh, and which month the procedure should be executed I am just selecting everything let's select all because I want to show you the demo uh, very quickly okay so this is done and this is the SQL statement that is uh, generated through our settings okay uh, I'll uh, I'll put these things in the description you can get from there okay so these are done and now let's save this procedure okay I have saved this now for example let's just clear this data for now and I want that data should be generated from the schedule job okay let's clear this okay the data here see delete two means two records are deleted so as of now there is no data let's wait for one minute and within that uh, we, we should get a uh, first record uh, in our table that means when the schedule job will be executed so for this scheduler we can also see from here uh, if we want to see this thing we can see the properties of scheduler and the repeat time and everything we can see and also we can edit this thing from here okay so close it and in the steps if you remember we had we had added only one step so there is only one step and if you see the code uh, we have co called this thing okay so for the first time I let the procedure executed and we should have data see uh, at uh, 20 and 5 minutes uh, we get the procedure executed and here we are having one record okay now what I'll do I'll uh, disable it let me disable the job okay here it is see it is enabled now what I did I disabled it and I have saved it so it says now that this is disabled now okay so now what even if uh, the scheduler we have within within the scheduled range that means we had scheduled it till July 31st and for every minute it should be executed but it won't execute uh, okay before I disable it it was executed at 26 p.m. Uh, but after that it will not execute okay we'll wait for some time I'll for fast forward this video okay one minute is completed now we'll check uh, we should not have any data for uh, that for the third ID okay because we have disabled the scheduler see uh, we don't have any data now if I again enable it and then we, we, we will have data let's verify that also 
okay so now we have enabled the scheduler and again we will wait one minute okay uh, now one minute is happened Bec why I am waiting one minute because as per my scheduler it should uh, execute the uh, procedure means uh, the job should be called in every one minute you can check this as per your requirement you can schedule uh, daily basis or weekly basis or monthly whatever you give accordingly that will be the waiting period okay so now you can see here we had one record at 25 26 and we did don't get any record here 27 and then we get one record at 28 okay this was about the enable and disabling the uh, schedule job now what I'll do I'll go and stop the service you know uh, in the previous videos also I have explained you that uh, there there is one PG agent service also that should also be uh, up and running to get the procedure to get the PC agent work properly okay so this is running now what I'll do I'll stop this uh, PC agent service okay and uh, one more thing if you are not getting the option to stop and everything so you need to start this services uh, thing as administrator okay so now as I have disabled this uh, so I have stopped this service so now let's see if uh, our PC agent is going to work or not and it is let me just check what is the current data here okay so uh, it didn't work at 29 pm okay because this is this is gone now and also we can verify that again uh, by waiting one more minute let uh, if uh, it's going to enter any value at uh, 8 and 10 pm let's wait okay one minute happened but uh, let's see if we, d we get any record or not see we don't get any record because the PG agent service is uh, stopped okay so if uh, if you are if you are uh, this PG agent is not working and everything is proper there so you need to check your services if they are up and running okay so now what I'll do I'll again start this PG agent okay so this PG agent is running and one more thing is that if I stop this PostgreSQL that is this is the parent service if I stop this uh, then automatically the PG agent job will also be stopped okay so make sure that both the services are up and running okay so without this main service uh, this PG agent service is nothing okay there is of uh, that is of no use so now see let's see everything is up there and fine let's see for the 11th minute uh, in 11th minute since we have our services up and uh, the scheduler is also enabled so now we should get one record see we get one more record at 10th also in 11th because I had enabled the service okay so this was all about the pages and jobs enable disable and the services things so let's meet in the next video with new concept or any new topic that uh, I want to make video or you can suggest also. So till then take care. Bye bye.